All right, this one kind of goes out to my uh, buddy Brad there at Larson Valley Farms. Um, this is kind of the quick, before I start, an overview drawing of uh, the barn that I'm starting to build here. Um, can't really see, I hope it's all in there. But anyway, um, it's kind of a multi-purpose barn here. It's going to mainly be for cattle. Uh, it's going to be receiving barn slash trading barn slash feed barn so uh we'll uh right down here on the corner just to kind of give you a bearing here um where it says load and shoot on this left lower hand corner that'll be the front right here kind of where this trailer is backed in there'll be the chute will go out um here's the front and then here's the barn that kind of lays adjacent to it let me see if i can walk here and kind of show you a plan real quick don't have much video time left here so see what I can do started out there is a four foot retaining wall here that's poured this will be a semi dock just for driving tractors on or anything that I need if I need to unload this all gets graveled down through here this will be a, just a feed shed. There is a feed bunk poured into it. It's 120 foot long. It's, I think it's two and a half foot wide. Can't really remember. Now it's been a while since I poured it. These posts are on 10 foot centers and they're 25 foot high. I use 28 foot posts. I had these uh, power poles laying around so below the wall there'll be uh, 32 foot I'm sorry 34 foot I had to think about that for a minute with overhang but this will be a drive down through here um, so I can alter the feed over the wall into the feed bunk these uh, last three 20 foot these are 20 foot spans on the last three here these last three will be starting feed pins uh, an Amishman is going to make uh, feed panels for me will be swinging gates 20 foot long um, just and then I'll just auger it out on the ground I've got mine belting that I lay out that they'll eat off of so that is like i said here is the wall and driveway um this all gets taken out here this is an old feed lot but i'll drive out here drive around and in between back out in between those two buildings when i'm feeding unless i need to turn back around and, and go back down through and feed these starting pins these what I'm calling starting pins so there's three of them they're 20 by 30 each one of them be 20 foot wide 30 foot long so there was one two and this is the third one and then there's going to be a small pin here That'll be 10 foot by 30 foot, and I'm going to call this like a, my hospital pen or whatever because, and I did have marking paint laid out here, there'll be gates down through here that'll swing and overlap each other. So actually when I close, open this around, they'll start up an alley here or from any of the three feed pins I can close gates and get them up this alley way here and if you look at a WW um, I think it's easy way um, alley system is kind of what I'm setting this up on the gates will overlap they're 10 foot gates but they'll be set on six foot centers so they overlap and you just kind of start once Actually, let me back up here. 
once you close this first one off the gates down through here will be every six foot they'll start overlapping once you get one gate completely closed and you open it and keep on going through they just fold around i'll try to i've got a picture of one here in a book i'll show you an example until they get up to here and then they'll be closed off in an alleyway It'll be a sliding gate here with the ramp going out on the uh, a dock i am going to make like a chute that raises for semis or flat for going out on the the um, stock trailer but you can sort of see a little bit the chute will if i close it off and open this way up i'll walk them around this curve here and they will go into the chute about right in here somewhere the chute will set and then i can open gates to run them back down the alleyway back into the feed pens um, also on this side of the chute where my sweep is there i'll have this built up on a platform and a couple gates just man gates that'll swing to the inside down through these few posts so if you need to you can step through over into the chute side um, in this center section i hope this is making sense i'm just kind of meandering around but in this center section it's a 20 foot span i have some steel beams and the first 30 foot by 20 foot on this be 20 foot wide in between the two spans and this first 30 feet will there'll be a hayloft over top of it mainly just so i can kind of close in my uh, chute system and stuff and because the rest of the barn is just going to be open um the stairs will start up here on this corner and they'll go up and then I'll have a walkway the whole length of the barn like a catwalk so I can look over onto the cattle without bothering them either down below where I'm feeding or up above the starting pins here. Let me kind of back up and so I can give you an overview. You notice where the header boards are on these posts. That follows this roof line down to the right the roof line to the left there where the actual i'm going to call it small feed lot is going to be where i'm going to finish some calves out um it it actually comes down two and a half feet um there'll be another set of header boards there Let's drop it two and a half feet that'll give me airflow into this barn because uh, i kind of catch a crosswind straight out of the um the direction I'm pointing now is, is uh, due west. So I'm, I'm east, I have an east-west wind here. Um, so anyway, yep. Then uh, below this, I already have posts kind of set and uh, high tensile, that uh, nylon high tensile wire is probably what I'm gonna use um, for now. Um, going to be seven or eight strand um to just divide the the feedlot below here but anyway i'll patch one more thing on here a look at the uh a look at the drawing of the way i'm going to set my shoot system up and uh, it'll be it